Greetings and welcome to The Magnolia, the show that is dedicated to image, brand, and business culture. I'm Nida Bitmaneva, your host, and thank you so much for tuning in to The Magnolia. Today's topic is the broken window syndrome. Now you may say, what in the world is that? And what in the world does it have to do with image and brand? with either individuals or with businesses. Well, let's explore. We all know of a beautiful downtown or a beautiful community, and there are gorgeous buildings, and they just glisten in the sunlight. They look pretty from the outside and the inside. Landscaping looks great. The paint looks very nice. Glass looks beautiful. People are coming in and out of the building all the time. The building is actually breathing because people are inside. They're breathing. People are taking care of the building. And so it's an extremely happy building, right? But what happens when the building closes? First, we see the for lease or for sale sign go up. And then, if it lasts too long, it just begins to look tired, doesn't it? The landscaping outside begins to wilt and die. Paint or anything else isn't being taken care of. Trash begins to sort of blow next to the building. And it's just, you just know that the very next thing is a window is going to be broken. And then vagrants are going to move in, things are going to be stolen, and then at some point they're going to board up the window, aren't they? And that trash continues to flow. That is the broken window syndrome. And that building is standing there going, somebody please come and help. And sometimes something does happen, doesn't it? A building gets purchased or leased. They put a fresh paint, a coat of paint on. They clean up the trash out front. They get rid of the dead plants that are there. People start coming in and out. And it has life again. So how does this syndrome affect we as individuals and our businesses? Well, let's talk about individuals first. And we as humans, we pick up over time, due to a lot of reasons, some habits. And maybe those habits are not necessarily positive, but more on the negative side. Let's just say that you, know, you decide, you know, I really don't care to exercise anymore. I don't care what I eat anymore. I don't care if I gain weight. I don't care if I lose weight. Ah, I don't care about my hair. I don't care much about anything. And soon, that begins to be that image and brand that you're projecting, isn't it? Same thing goes for businesses. Even if it doesn't close, sometimes it begins to decrease and because of the actions from the inside. Your staff stops making prompt calls to customers. Maybe there's errors in order. The salespeople aren't returning the phone calls. The salespeople aren't selling. The operations people aren't managing correctly. And if that is let to continue, both for an individual and for any business, it too will begin to have that broken window syndrome and it will become the new image and brand that is being projected to everybody else. So how do we eliminate that? Well, we eliminate that from, for an individual to periodically step back, take a look at yourself. Are you happy with what you see? Do maybe we need a little facelift, and I don't necessarily mean surgery, but maybe you need to, you know, if you're a female, go to a makeup counter and say, you know, would you make me up? Um, don't wear any makeup or anything and just let somebody make you up and see does it look a lot different than what maybe you are projecting and how do you like it? Maybe you are um, wearing clothes that are not really comparable uh, for you. 
Um, maybe they're too big, too small, whatever. Maybe you're not uh, responding to your friends, to your family like you need to be. And so you need to step back and look. Same thing for a business. If you're the business owner or if you're responsible for the brand, that's usually a marketing person, a communications person, you know, at least twice a year, you need to do a good survey. Call the office, call the company, call the branches. Listen to what the voice sounds like. Is it upbeat and positive? Do they want to help? Or is it more negative and you're almost being a bother? Look at the way the outside of your office is looking or your different branches or different shops. Pull up. If you're a restaurant, go in and order. How's the food? How's the service? How does it look? If there's some adjustments that need to be made, then by all means, get those adjustments done, right? because we don't want that broken window syndrome to catch a hold of us as individuals or businesses. We want to continue to thrive. We want to continue to grow. And we want to project a very positive image and brand to others. So if you've got any comments that you'd like to add, please do. You can go to tnbgroup.com, go over to the Magnolia and you can respond. I've also got the broken window syndrome out on the blog uh, right now, uh, effective as of this morning. So if you've liked what you've heard, by all means, go out. You might print it out, make a note, put it in a calendar for the next week or two. The fact that you're going to check and see and make sure that there's no broken windows uh, either with you personally or um, in the business. So it's been my pleasure uh, as always, to bring you the Magnolia and a topic that relates to image, brand, or business culture. Thank you so much for joining, and we'll see you next time.